Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. I uh, had a patron request on how to use one ROM folder for multiple builds. And so it's actually a very easy process to do. Uh, Maybe a bit time consuming um, to go through all of your systems, but I'm going to show you one based on Attract Mode, which is HyperPi PC. And I'm also going to show you how to do it with Emulation Station for Windows as well. Um, most of my builds, if not all, are designed off of Attract Mode or Emulation Station. So now I can show you two different builds using the same ROM folder. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use my HyperPC ROMs. And I'm going to do NES. So inside my NES folder, I've got all my NES games. So if you're wanting to change in an attract mode build where your ROMs are, you would just go into your attract mode build. Now I'm using HyperPi PC here. Uh, and in your attract folder is an emulators folder. So we're going to open the emulators folder. Uh, now you will want to have the program Notepad++. If you don't have that, uh, just Google Notepad++ and download it. It's a free download. Um, so I'm going to go into, I'm in my emulators folder, Nintendo Entertainment System. And under ROM path is where you would point your ROMs, point to your ROMs. So basically the easiest way to do it is just navigate your browser to where your ROMs are. So I'm going to navigate to ROMs and we're on NES. I'm just going to go to NES. So now we're inside of the NES folder where my ROMs are. Just highlight up here, right click, copy, and inside of your ROM path, um, this is going to be the same because I am using my HyperPi PC folder, you would just highlight everything here and paste it in. So it didn't change for me, but that's because I'm using the same path. Now that you've done that, um, you're going to want to do the same thing for box art. So I just always leave the slash box art. I leave slash cart art, slash flyer, so on and so forth. So I would just highlight from here. Boom. Control V. is paste. There you go. So once you've done all that, go ahead and save. So that's how you do it in attract mode. Now I'll show you how to do it in Emulation Station. So basically my Emulation Station build is going to use my HyperPi PC ROMs folder. That way I don't have to have two NES folders with the exact same ROMs taking up hard drive space. So I'm going to go into my Emulation Station folder, dot Emulation Station. And just to show you, I'm going to go into ROMs and I'll come down to NES it's empty. There's nothing here. So we'll go back. We're in our emulation station folder, dot emulation station. And with uh, Notepad++, you're going to want to open ES underscore systems. And navigate to Nintendo. So I'm under NES here. And for your path, right now I have it pointing to my emulation station ROMs nest folder, uh, which is empty. So let's point it to some ROMs. So there we go, and I will paste. Now it's pointing to my HyperPi PC ROMs NES folder. And you would do that for each and every system. Uh, point it to the correct folder of where your ROMs are. Go ahead and click Save. Close. And I will now launch Emulation Station. And I should probably turn the volume down. I'll come way down here. And here is Nintendo. There's all my games. So my artwork's not showing. Um, I have not scraped my artwork or anything like that. I just added it to this. And this is my Hyper PC folder for ROMs. Now I don't have to use two different folders. So we'll launch, uh, I don't know, Adam's Family. 
and there it is working. So that's pretty much it. Um, you would have to do this for each and every system. Um, but that's how I have two different builds and you can do this for as many builds as you want as long as they're all pointing to the same ROM directory. Um, you'll be able to use one ROMs folder for as many builds as you want. Uh, and it can be on different drives too, so if I were to be on the C drive uh, and I don't know, my NES Classic Edition, then I would just go into my emulators folder and I think I'm using Nostopia for this one. Yeah, and I could just put my my ROMs folder there pointing to my HyperPi PC on the H drive and it will still work. So that's it guys. Uh, hopefully appreciate you guys uh, appreciate the video. Um, please like it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, tell anybody you can about my 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 channel. Uh, I try to post as many videos as I can. Uh, this is busy season at my uh, 9 to 5 job so I'm trying to bank videos and make them as much as I can and release them as often as I can um, when I have free time. Um, and if you're not a patron, please consider being a patron. Uh, it gives you access to um, all of my builds as opposed to just my free releases. Um, and even the free releases, you, you'd get early access, so you'll be getting it before majority of anyone else. Uh, and basically, my, my patron is not for me to make a buck it goes all back into my channel. Uh, basically my patron is to cover my online storage costs which uh, my builds, the more I build the more online storage I need uh, as well as I'd like to get a new microphone um, just to make my my videos more clear and sound better. I've had a couple of comments about uh, my voice being low on certain videos so I just want to adjust that. Right now I'm using my um, my webcam microphone it's the best microphone I've got between the two uh, that I have uh, and also once I reach a certain point on patron I I want to do giveaways um, you know I could do a custom build and put it on a mini PC or you know maybe a, a custom Raspberry Pi, uh, Pi build and stuff like that that I could do um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go with it but I definitely want to do some giveaways and, and just kinda give back to the community um, I really appreciate anyone that supports me on YouTube, anyone that supports me on Patreon. Um, I'm, re I'm very thankful. I never thought my channel would reach. Uh, I'm nearing 500 uh, subscribers. And, uh, you know, back when I was shooting videos with my cell phone, I never thought that I was I was going to get to that point. So, again, guys, uh, my hat's off to you. Really appreciate it. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm all done. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, have a good day, everybody.